Hello and welcome in. Let's get started with your reading. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles under the deck. Somebody's very hardworking. Possibly working very hard on a new idea. Um, something that brings you a lot of joy and inspiration. Um, or possibly you're working very hard, but it's not. A, and under the deck, we have the Four of Cups. And this is kind of feeling blah or bored. Um, so we have the Ace of Wands that came out. That is inspiration. That is the spark of life. So let's figure out a little bit more about this. Six of Wands. So there will be victory in this. This is victory and success and can be public recognition as well. Under the deck is the Hermit. So that's kind of doing that soul searching, um, following your lantern, following your light inside you, doing that soul searching. All right, so we have your first layer of cards down. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Uh, somebody working very hard, being very responsible. The Knight, the Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Knights are always moving. Um, the Knight is the slowest moving Knight, but he's actually very responsible and someone that you can count on. Then we have Ace of Wands. So you are being very slow and methodical and working very hard on this new idea. And this looks like it will turn out very successful. And maybe you've had to do a lot of soul searching to reach this. Um, to give yourself the okay to go for what inspires you possibly. So let's let's get another layer of cards here. Five of Cups. So this could be after um, a big loss. This is uh, loss and sadness here. Um, we have a hanged man under the deck. This is your taking that time out, that pause needed. Similar to the hermit that we saw under the deck. So there's been a lot of um, kind of pausing and going within, maybe getting a different perspective on things, trying to find out what your power is in the situation. 
Wow, beautiful. And then we have the sun. The sun is directly under the Ace of Wands. The center of your reading, we have Spark of Inspiration and then the happiest card in the deck, which is the sun. Let me move these up here. So, and under the deck from when the sun came out, we have strength. So someone was doing a lot of work, um, inner work, to come from grace instead of ego. All right, let's get this other card here. Temperance, very healing card. That's tempering out the impurities, what's no longer serving you, finding that balance. We've got an umbrella of protection here. Under the deck is Two of Cups. This is a beautiful partnership. Mute, everything is very mutual. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify this reading with the sister deck to this tarot. We have the Oracle of Mystical Moments, and this is the Tarot, tarot of Mystical Moments. So I'm going to clarify this row, this row, and this row. Sleeping Beauty's Dream. I feel like your dream of what inspired you, what brought you the ultimate happiness was sleeping. Um, like the vines are growing wild, everything is um, kind of, it's getting overgrown and you weren't really living your dream and that was giving you that sadness there. I'm gonna clarify this middle row here. So you're either um, finally going to go for what, brings you that joy and happiness or you've already started on that journey um, either way it will bring you success and balance wow <laughs> and then here's the gift so and then we also have another umbrella plus a gift um, this ace of wands is like a gift from the divine and this is clarity and joy and happiness. And then we're, we have an umbrella and we have the gift. So maybe this is something that, maybe there was a business gifted to you. Maybe there was, um, you know, an actual something handed over to you. Um, if not, this is the like divine timing. The universe is bringing you this gift um, because it's overdue. You've had your dream sleeping for way too long. You were doing everything responsible here with the, the Knight of Pentacles. You're, you're slow moving, grounded, responsible, 
but your dreams are just sleeping here and bringing a lot of emotions of sadness, um, regret, a lot of a lot there in our emotions of the, the waters of our emotions there. So let's go ahead and clarify this third row. Night ride. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> wow. So she is definitely on a ride here with this victory and success. Um, we've got a hummingbird eating the nectar. Um, this is that victory and success card. Um, we've got two wise owls, owls. We have wisdom here. We are passing on, you know, they say that elephants pass on their knowledge to their young. So the young, the newborn elephants actually will know what watering holes have been dried up and things like that. It's, it's pretty incredible. So this might have been something that you had a dream about. Maybe your ancestors um, nudged you in this area. This could be something that you're um, maybe a family business, something to do with um, your ancestors and things of that nature. I'm going to, I want to look up what it says about the night ride just for a second here. Protector, wander in the night, big brother and friendship. So you are protected, um, even in the dark times, just know that you can feel safe. You're protected, and you will have success with this. We have even have, you know, temperance here with that protection umbrella. I want to um, pull a healing crystal card for you, um, just for the advice for this reading. keep that but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these a little more all right kunzite it's about love femininity and transition as it breaks down barriers surrounding the heart kunzite kunzite um, offers unconditional love to heal lingering wounds. It helps you feel safe while being vulnerable, allowing you to express your love authentically and expansively. Hi a highly vibrational stone. Um, its protection can be used as an energetic feel shield that surrounds your aura and protects it amongst emotional vampires, and negative influences. This stone aids in um, feminine rites of passage from puberty to becoming a mother. Kunzite supports loving your body no matter what phase of life you're in. Um, this stone is good for Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and it is also ruled by Venus and Pluto. So this is the stone here. So I will put this here and I want to take a look at this one, the first one that came out. Um, agate. It's beautiful. So this one is st a stabilizing stone. It is used to balance, this is temperance here, balance the mind, body and spirit, creating harmony in all areas of your life. Much like the patterns of the crystal itself, grounding and supportive. Agate helps to reveal inner truths, cleansing beneath the surface to expose your authentic self. A wonderful stone to heal resentment. Agate frees you from 
the imprisonment of your inner anger, replacing it with safety and security. Agate takes its time vibrating at a slow and steady pace and encourages you to take as much time as you need for the matter at hand. This is good for Gemini. And we also have Mercury on this as well. And Mercury is in retrograde. Um, this one really sounded, that might be just a message for someone here. Um, this one really sounded like it went with the reading as far as um, creating the harmony and then getting it, cleansing, getting into our authentic self, kind of cleansing um, the responsibilities in a way. I mean, responsibility is good, but we also want to live our dream. You know, we don't want to just go through life um, feeling blah and not having that passion ignited and really following our dream, following our, our what ha makes us happy. So it sounds like you're on that path. Um, I think that I will wrap this up here. Um, it's a very beautiful reading. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.